What's going on everyone? Bob's Blu-rays here and today I'm going to be going over my entire Scream Factory collection. So stay tuned and I'll get right into it after this. All right, let's go ahead and dive right into it. Let's just go ahead and get it started with the 4K boxes. Uh, these are gonna be the Halloween ones. I've got Halloween right here. These are so nice. They slide, they're hard boxes and they slide out like that. So there is your reversible artwork on it. Big fan of those. Then we've got Halloween 2. It's also gonna have the reversible artwork right here which is super nice. These 4Ks looked absolutely crisp as well. They looked great. They were perfect. Halloween 3 is up next right here. Looks great as well. I did watch all of these back in October, uh, at least one through five, because I wanted to check out the 4K transfers. I also got Halloween 4 right here. Very nice hard box. I love the artwork on these. I think the leaves in the background, just everything about these, are so nice. I'm a huge fan of them. Next up after that, we've got Halloween 5. Here's your reversible artwork right there. And your nice hard box. Hard box. Absolutely beautiful cases. Like I said, I am a huge fan of these. Next up, we're going to get into the 4Ks. So these are going to be all my 4K collector's edition releases. So like I said, I kind of separate everything. We've got Alligator. This is going to be alphabetical order here. So Alligator 4K right there. I enjoyed it. Didn't love it, but I didn't see it when I was younger. Still had fun with it now, though. Uh, we've got Army of Darkness. This is one I have not seen. It's still sealed here. This is like three discs, I believe. It's really thick right there. Uh, next up after that, we've got the Candyman 4K with the original artwork. And then, unfortunately, I don't put uh, reversible artwork on a lot of these 4Ks, but that's all right. Then we've got Carrie, still sealed right there. I have seen this, though. I've seen the original Carrie. It's been a while. I watched it when I was a kid, I believe. Next up after that, we have got Child's Play, the 4K right there. Uh, I did watch Child's Play, Child's Play 2, and Child's Play 3, so I watched this. I thought that Child's Play 2 probably looked the best as far as the 4K transfer goes. I absolutely love all three Child's Play movies. Then you got the alternate artwork of Child's Play 2 right there, the 4K. Then we have got Child's Play 3. I'm a big fan of this movie as well. Child's Play 3 there. And then the alternate artwork for Child's Play 3. I think the artwork is absolutely great on these. I'm really looking forward to the other four Child's Play movies. I think it'll be great to have the entire collection in 4K. Then we have got Craft. I've only seen this once. Uh, I thought it was pretty good. Not great. Not something I loved. Dawn of the Dead 4K, the remake here from 2004. Big fan of Dawn of the Dead. I think it's one of the best horror remakes of all time. Then we have got Escape from New York right here, the 4K. Seen it once. I liked it. Didn't love it. I think it's pretty good. It's not my favorite John Carpenter movie. Then we have got Evil Dead here, the remake from 2013, I believe. Love this movie. I think it's super bloody. It's great. It's awesome. Uh, the special features are the same from the original Blu-ray, and there's also no reversible artwork either. So this isn't a great 4K, but still love the movie. Then we've got the Fog here, the original Fog, John Carpenter's Fog here. I have seen this once. I think it's pretty slow it starts. It's not bad. It's just really slow, but it's pretty decent. Then we've got the Fun House. I watched this back in October, rewatched it, and it didn't quite hold up the same as it did the first time I watched it. Still enjoyed it, just didn't really, really dive into it. Uh, then we've got The Howling. I've seen this once. And another one that starts pretty slow but has a great ending. Uh, after that, we've got Krampus here. Or some people say Krampus. But, yeah, it's Krampus here. Uh, this is the naughty cut. I think there's, like, literally 30 seconds or 60 seconds of dialogue. It's not really different. And, uh... You get the reversible artwork right there on that one. Then next up after that, we have got Life Force, which I've never seen Life Force. So I can't talk about that one. 
Then we've got Prince of Darkness. I did not love this movie. Um, didn't love it. Didn't necessarily hate it. Just didn't really enjoy it. Then we've got The Return of the Living Dead. I do like this. This is a lot of fun. You got Linnea Quigley in that one. Then you've got Species, which I've never seen any of the Species movies. I have the box set with, I believe, all four films from 88 films. Then we've got They Live on 4K right here. This is a lot of fun. Really enjoy this movie. Alrighty, so now we're going to dive into the Blu-ray Collector's Editions. We'll start with the slip boxes here of Creepshow, which I've actually never seen Creepshow, so I need to check that out. Never seen any of them. We've got Elvira's Haunted House, still sealed. I have not seen this one either, but I really love those hard boxes that they do. Moving into the Blu-ray Collector's Editions, it's going to be 10 to Midnight we're going to get it kicked off with, which I've never seen 10 to Midnight. Then we have got April Fool's Day, which... I took a break from watching this this past April Fool's because I just, I don't know, it, it, knowing the twist of the movie at the end and how it plays out, I need to take a break from some movies every year watching the same thing. It's good, it's just not great. Uh, Behind the Mask of the Rise of Leslie Vernon, I believe, yeah. It's unique, it's pretty cool. I did not love it, though, but I enjoyed it. Uh, Big Trouble in Little China, probably from all of the Carpenter movies I've seen, I'm trying to think. This is definitely not one of my favorites. Uh, it might be my least favorite. Um, he's got other bad movies, like probably uh, Is It the Ward? That would be my least favorite. But uh, Black Christmas, it grew on me a tiny bit. I still do not like that movie. The original Black Christmas, I'm not a fan. The remake of The Blob from like 1988. Big fan of this movie. I love this artwork. There's your reversible artwork. They did do reversible artwork on all of these collector's edition Blu-rays. Uh, and then they upgrade them and they don't really do reversible artwork, but I love the Blob remake. The Burning, this movie's a ton of fun. I really enjoy it. I always use that reversible artwork there. Huge fan of The Burning. I think it's a lot of fun. Candyman, I've actually never seen this. Um, I pulled out the 4K, but I got the Blu-ray here. Still sealed. I need to check that out. We've got Child's Play, the Blu-ray there. We have got Class of 1984, one of, if not possibly, my favorite Scream Factory release. This was a blind buy. Absolutely loved this movie. There's your reversible artwork. Huge fan of Class of 1984. We've got the Craft Blu-ray. That's really nice artwork right there. I like that. Then we have got Cursed on Blu-ray. This is the Collector's Edition. This might be their last Blu-ray Collector's Edition they released. They pretty much only do 4Ks uh, for their collector's editions now. It seems like um, we don't get a whole lot of Blu-ray collector's editions. Cursed is fun. We'd love to see a director's cut. Dawn of the Dead, the remake as well. Then we have got Dog Soldiers. Uh, I've heard this transfer is awful. I haven't seen this cut. I uh, have the 4K from Second Sight. I need to get the 4K from Scream Factory. Then next up after that, We've got Drag Me to Hell. I've only seen this once, and I thought, eh, it was okay. Then we've got The Entity after that. I've never seen this. I don't know anything about that movie. Escape from L.A. This is not nearly as good as Escape from New York, but it's not terrible. It's not great. I've never seen any of these Hammer horror movies. The Evil of Frankenstein. Yeah, I haven't seen that one. Uh, then we've got The Fog, the original Fog. The Funhouse. Talked about that one already as well. And then we've got the Green Inferno here, which I am quite the fan of this movie. Uh, it is not. I got a little mark there. But uh, there's your reversible artwork. I saw this in theaters. Uh, it's I don't know if you want to call it a remake or a ripoff of Cannibal Holocaust, but I do enjoy Cannibal Holocaust a ton. And I really like this movie as well. I think it's I think Green Inferno is a good remake. Eli Roth did really well, and I love the artwork on this. Next up after that, we have got Ghost Ship. This is the Blu-ray with the reversible artwork right there. Uh, I need to rewatch this. It's been a very long time since I've seen Ghost Ship. We've got Halloween 2 right there. The original Halloween 2. Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Not a fan of that movie. Uh, we've got Hell Knight, which I've seen once and I thought, hey, it's pretty good. It's not great, but I did enjoy it. I believe Linda Blair is in that. Then we've got the remake of House of Wax here, which I am a huge fan of this movie. I don't know how closely it follows the original House of Wax. 
After that, we've got House on Haunted Hill, another one that I have to rewatch because it's been a very long time. I wanted to get around to House of Wax and Ghost Ship this past October, but I didn't get around to it. The Howling, once again, I talked about the 4K. We've got Idle Hands, a very fun movie from the 90s. Uh, we've got the, I believe this is the remake of Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I've never seen either one of these. Uh, after that, we have got King Kong. I believe this is from like 1976, it says. Yeah, uh, I've never seen that King Kong. Life Force, never seen it. The Blu-ray, we've got Mad Max. I haven't made it through this. I watched it when I was a kid, and I don't remember enjoying it. I was probably not even a teenager at the time, and I just didn't get through it. I'm going to have to watch all of those. We got Misery, 4K from Kino, looks great as well. We've got Motel Hell. Uh, once again, much like Funhouse, rewatched around October. Didn't quite hold up the same. I enjoyed it for the most part, but didn't love it. Not by any means. Uh, My Bloody Valentine, the original, this movie is excellent. I would love to see Scream Factory put out the remake, because I think they're both excellent. We got Night Creatures. I, I don't even know what that is. Uh, we've got Night of the Creeps, the Blu-ray. I'm a huge fan of this movie. I really want the alternate artwork on this, the alternate slipcover. But I really like the uh, original artwork right there as well. Like I said, a huge fan of this movie. Uh, can't put that back in. But yeah, big fan of this movie. I just think it's a lot of fun. A lot of great quotes, very quotable. We've got Night of the Demons. Uh, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I actually had a blast with it in October when I rewatched it. Uh, this is Nightmare, I believe. Never seen it. Don't. I think it's Hammer Horror. I don't know anything about that. Pet Cemetery 2. I've actually never seen the original Pet Cemetery or Pet Cemetery 2. I've only seen the crappy remake. Then we have got Phantasm 2, which I've only seen the original Phantasm. After that, Prince of Darkness. Here is going to be Prison, which I've also never seen this one either. And I'm not sure, is that Vigo Mortensen? It is Vigo Mortensen. Continuing on here, we've got Psycho 2, which I've only seen the original Psycho, and that's been like 16 years, 15 years since I've seen that. Psycho 3, which I've never seen either. Once again, only seen the original Psycho. Road Games, I thought this movie was very boring. I was not a big fan of Road Games at all. Uh, blind Buy, I mean, I try to buy all Scream Factories, Collector's Editions regardless, but uh, RoboCop 3, I've only seen the original RoboCop. Uh, Serial Mom, from what I remember, I didn't love this. It wasn't my type of humor. I, I'd have to rewatch it. I can't remember it all that well. I watched Shocker when I was probably 8 or 9 or 10 years old, so I can't remember this at all. So we've got Silent Hill right here. Uh, here's your reversible artwork. Some of them did not have great original artwork. I actually really prefer this artwork. Um, I've only seen this once, I believe, if I have seen the entire thing, and I didn't care for it. Silent Night, Deadly Night, meh, it's okay. It's not bad, it's not great. Then Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2, and this is like 30 minutes of footage of the original. It's not good at all. Then we've got Silver Bullet, which I do enjoy Silver Bullet. I think it's a lot of fun. After Silver Bullet is Sleepwalkers, which I really like Sleepwalkers as well. Some people don't think it aged very well. I have fun with this movie. I like it. I like cats. I have fun with it. Um, that's an enjoyable movie to me. Slither. This is a lot of fun. There's a great bathtub scene in this movie. I remember that original artwork. I saw this in theaters. Slither is a lot of fun. The original Strangers. This is a good movie. This movie saw it in theaters as well. There's your original artwork. There's like four different artworks for this movie. I've got a couple other ones as well. Uh, I am a huge fan of this movie. I actually love the sequel as well. I'm a huge fan of the sequel. I've seen them both in theaters. Such a great theater experience for that. Never seen this. This is Tales from the Darkness or Tales from the Dark Side, the movie. Never seen it. I don't know too much about that. We've got Teen Wolf and then Teen Wolf 2. I've never seen Teen Wolf 2. I've only seen Teen Wolf, the original one. I know Jason Bateman's in the second one, and I've heard the second one is really bad. Speaking of bad, I haven't seen all of this, but Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the next generation, not good. Now, some people enjoy it. Definitely didn't from what I saw. 13 Ghosts, I did rewatch this, and it's all right. It's all right. I rewatched it in October. I got around to that one. Urban Legend, ton of fun, the Blu-ray collector's edition there's your original artwork 
I'm a huge fan of Urban Legend. I also like the sequel, to be honest. Uh, Valentine, I believe, I watch this every year, and I might take a break, because I've been watching this every year on Valentine's Day. Uh, it's fun. It's not bad. I like it. Uh, we got Vampires. This is a lot of fun. Top five John Carpenter for me. Next up after that is going to be Vice Squad. And this is going to complete my Blu-ray collector's editions from Scream Factory. There's your original artwork. I've never seen this, and I don't have all of the um, Scream Factory collector's editions. Just uh, what you saw. Next up after that is going to be the Blu-ray non-collector's editions with slipcovers, though. So we've got Devil's Gate right here, which probably a lot of these I've never seen. I don't know anything about that. We've got Fender Bender up next. This is actually decent. This is pretty good. I enjoy this movie quite a bit. I watched some of the audio commentary. I watched it with my friends. They enjoyed it. I'm not the biggest fan of the ending when I first saw it, but you know what? This movie kept me engaged. I was not bored. Let's just say that. And some people might find Fender Bender boring because it's a bit slow. It's really just two people and three people throughout the movie, but it, I liked it. Uh, we've got Gravy. Eh, not, not a... Not the biggest fan. It was it was okay, I guess. Hunter Hunter has one of the craziest endings you'll ever see in a movie. It has one of the just boldest. Um, last eight or nine, seven minutes of a movie. It might have been the most shocking ending I've ever seen in my life. However, the first hour, 20 minutes of this movie to get to that point were the most boring hour, 20 minutes of my life. I was not into this movie at all. The ending just couldn't save it for me. I... I just, I couldn't do it. But there's your reversible artwork right there. Uh, Devin Sao was in it, um, but I just, uh, it was very boring. Itsy Bitsy, I remember buying this at Blu-ray. This was, uh, at Best Buy, this was probably one of my first ever uh, Screen Factories I've ever bought. Uh, I remember watching it when I got it. I thought it was okay. Uh, not bad. I, I'd have to rewatch it. It's been a while. Uh, next up after that, we've got The Monkey's Paw, which was, this was just sent to me by Sean. I have not seen it yet. We've got the remake, I believe, of Rabbit here, which is by the Soska sisters. Uh, ah, this, I wanted to like this and I didn't. Um, the ending, just the last 20 minutes kind of ruined it for me. I didn't like where they went with it. I love the rental. This is straightforward. Some people might have wanted more twists and whatnot. I was a huge fan of the rental. I really like this artwork right here as well. Um, it's still sealed because I had watched it some other way and then I saw it and I was like, I gotta buy this. I was a big fan of the rental. I remember winning a bid on that on eBay. Uh, Slumber Party Massacre. I don't, I don't, I don't like this remake. I don't like this remake. I don't, oh my goodness, I don't, I think this is trash. Uh, mm, some people love this remake. Some people think it's super unique and original. No, not for me. It's trash. Um. Sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't stand it. I couldn't stand it. Ugh. Uh, Trespassers. Uh, it's okay. Um, it's got its moments. It's not great. Uh, I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. It has its moments. Um, it does have the actress from... Uh, I can't pronounce her name, but she's in the craft. Uh, Feruza Balk or Belk? I don't know. But anyways, yeah. Go ahead and rip me a new one for trying to pronounce that. All right, so moving on, now we're going to get into the non-collector's editions without slipcovers. So there's quite a few of these, but a lot of them I have not seen. After Hours, I have not seen. I would like to check this out with my buddy Chris. I feel like he would be a fan of that. Uh, then we've got Alligator 2, The Mutilator. It, it's not great. But the ending of that, like the last 20 minutes, reminds me of Humanoids from the Deep. I had quite a lot of fun with the ending of Alligator 2. Uh, we've got Ambulance. I need to check out the Ambulance. I've never seen it. Next up after that, we have got the Babadook. I'm missing the slipcover for this. There was a couple alternate slipcovers. I didn't get any of them. Uh, this was before I cared about slipcovers much. Bad Moon. I bought it during a recent sale. I have not checked it out yet. Still sealed. We've got Ben here. I need to get around to the original Willard and Ben. I really want to check those out. Never seen either one. I've seen the remake. We've got Bug, which I've never seen Bug. Uh, Cage Fury. This is the movie that kind of got me banned from Disc Replay uh, for talking about it. But it's, I've never seen it, but it's got, there's a story behind it. It's got, I don't know. It's, I don't know much about it, but I think it's, 
like about a bunch of lesbians in prison but i don't want to get kicked off of youtube for talking about that anymore i feel like i've done enough trouble with that anyways uh moving on we've got the car uh i wanted to like it i recently watched it for the first time and i didn't really enjoy it i thought it was a little boring it was okay it wasn't bad i thought it was average i haven't seen dual and i need to check that out we got cherry falls this is pretty fun i do like cherry falls quite a bit top five Brittany murphy movie for me We've got Crush. This is a fun one. Still sealed. I have seen it when I was younger. Uh, I enjoy this movie a lot. The Crush is awesome. It's a lot of fun. Um, next up after that is going to be Dance Macabre. I believe is how you pronounce it. Haven't seen it. Still sealed. After that, we have got The Day the World Ended. The only reason I bought this is because it was going out of print, out of stock, and so I grabbed it. Uh, moving on, we have got Death Valley. Not bad. I bought it because I had seen it already. Um, I like Death Valley for the most part. It's okay. It's not bad. Um, moving on after that, we've got Death Wish 2. I haven't seen any of the original Death Wish movies. Uh, Eight-Legged Freaks. This is a lot of fun. I enjoy Eight-Legged Freaks a ton. Um, overpriced Blu-ray for not even having a slipper being a collector's edition, but I got it on sale. Uh, we've got Final Exam. Meh, it's kind of boring. It's okay. It's all right, I guess. Didn't really enjoy it. These are all my opinions, of course. Fire in the Sky. I need to check this out because some people say this is one of the best, like, horror sci-fi movies ever made. My buddy Chris loves that movie. Uh, we've got The Fun House Massacre. I just recently watched this in October. It's not bad. It's all right. I didn't mind it. Next up after that is going to be The Ghost in the Darkness. The Ghost and the Darkness. I liked this. Uh, I was engaged. I thought it was pretty good. I think it came out last year. It was a complete blind buy. I'd never heard of it. I enjoyed it. It's about a killer lion, essentially, I believe. Uh, we've got Jack's Back, James Spader. I have not seen it, but everybody, I guess, was loved with him in the 80s. We have got Killing Ground. Now, this movie, I think this is... One of, this is the movie I'm thinking of, right? I'm really confused because I thought Killing Ground was the movie where, and I could be right, but the back of it does just does not look like what I've seen. But I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, I remember buying it because I, I think it's the movie. It just does not, I don't recognize any of this. But there's some stuff, if this is the right movie I'm thinking of, it's brutal. Um, It's a bit slow, but there is some terrible like stuff that, that happens to the family they don't show it necessarily uh there's a, a scene involving a baby and that is that is not easy to watch um this movie is uh, i i i gotta i gotta check it out i gotta see if it's the movie i'm thinking of why wow i don't know yeah interesting um we've got missing in action i haven't seen any of those i believe there's three of them We've got The Nest, I have never seen, lying by there, still sealed. I believe next is going to be Orca the Killer Whale. I saw the back of it, haven't seen it, heard it's very silly, didn't hear good things about it. Piranha 2, The Spawning. Uh, I've seen this and the original and the remakes and Piranha 3DD and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, Piranha 2 is okay, I guess, for what it's worth. It says directed by James Cameron. He does not like to own up to um, directing this. I guess he got fired on set or he quit something. There's a whole story behind this movie and the fact that he says it's not his directorial debut. Um, he likes to say Terminator is, but this came out before it, but he denies it. So uh, anyways, I'm sure people know more about the story than I do. Continuing on, we have got Pledge. Uh, I... Uh, Jeez, I think I checked out Pledge. I'm pretty sure this is the movie on Hulu about three kids that pledge. I The ending pissed me off to no end, but other than that, it's okay. Uh, the Poughkeepsie Tapes, I believe is how you pronounce it. I haven't seen it. Still sealed, blind by, heard good things. S a Snake Movie, which I have not seen. It's got like seven S's or something like that. We have got... The Town That Dreaded Sundown. You know how I always know about this movie is because they mention this movie, Dewey Does, in the original Scream. <laughs> I believe. I believe. Um, Urban Legend Final Cut. Big fan of it. Like I said, I actually really enjoy that movie. It's not like the greatest in the world, but I have fun with it. We've got Virus, which I've never actually seen Virus. After that, we've got Willard. Like I said, I need to check out the original Willard and also Ben. 
Up after that is the remake of Willard, which I have seen, and it's all right. Crispin Glover, he plays that part really well. Women's Prison Massacre. Sounds like something I might be into. Uh, it says Master of Exploitation Bruno Mattei, Cruel Jaws and Rats, Night of Terror. So, Cruel Jaws, he, I guess he directed or wrote, uh, well, or produced, I don't know, Cruel Jaws, though. Wow. I haven't seen Cruel Jaws, but I do own it, thanks to Brian Goes Blue selling me it. Uh, we've got Zombie High here. I've not seen Zombie High, but it sounds like something I could be into. And then moving on, we've got our double features. So we're going to get into Carrie and then R the Rage Carrie 2. I haven't seen Carrie 2, but I've seen the original. Obviously, I really like the original. It's excellent. I need to watch for the first time Rage Carrie 2. Uh, I did get that. That was out of print when I got it, and it was very expensive, but it was a buy one, get one free, so I got very lucky. Uh, we have got Scanners uh, 2, The New Order, and Scanners 3, The Takeover. Uh, haven't seen any of the Scanners movies. Uh, we've got, I've seen both of these. We've got Munchies and Munchie. Not to be mistaken, they are not a sequel. They are not connected or correlated in any way, shape, or form. Uh, Munchies is a standalone movie. Munchie has a sequel called Munchie 2. And I actually watched all three of them in one day. <laughs> and Munchies is ridiculous, but it's fun. And Munchie, it's okay, I guess. It's not bad. It's, they're, they're all okay. Um, Ghoulies and Ghoulies 2, which I've never seen. I need to check out these Ghoulies movies, but Ghoulies just got announced on 4K by MVD Rewind Collection. We've got Bad Dreams and Visiting Hours, still sealed. I haven't seen any of those. Most of these I have not seen. Ghost House and Witchery, I don't know anything about those. Haven't seen them. The Knight of the Sorcerers and the Lorien's Grasp, I believe, or L'Oreal's. Um, but yeah, anyways, Laurelies, Laurelies Grasp. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Don't know much about them. Uh, we've got The Love at First Bite and Once Bitten. I'm assuming some vampire movies I have not seen. Um, until I bought them, I had never heard of them, probably. Tales from the Crypt and Vault of Horror. I've never seen these, never heard of them, really. Other Tales of the Crypt I've, of course, heard of. Terror Vision and the Video Dead, I believe is. Yeah, I've never seen these as well. And finally, uh, we've got Naked Vengeance and Vendetta, and I don't know much about these, never seen either one of these as well. All right, now let's move into the box sets, and then that'll complete my Scream Factory collection. Alrighty, so on to the first box set I'm going to pull out is going to be the Omen Collection. You're going to get five Omen movies. You actually get the remake as well, so you got the original Omen here. I have never seen any of the Omen movies except for the remake, and I think I fell asleep watching it. So that's the first box set there. I'm not going to bother pulling them out. I'll just show the box there. That's the front. There's the back of it, spine, and there's the five movies so you could check them out if you'd like right there i guess i should flip it over like that i don't know i can never tell from this angle anyways we've got the fly up next this is going to give you so it's going to be the fly collection i've got there's the spine there there's the other spine and then the back right there uh there's going to be five films in here so you're going to get your three original film uh fly movies you're going to get the fly return of the fly the curse of the fly and then the remake of the fly and the fly 2 i've only seen the remake of the fly uh the original three are from the 50s i believe i've never seen them then we've got the critters collection you're gonna get four critters movies you get critters critters 2 the main course critters 3 and critters 4. critters 2 is personally my favorite there's the front there's your spine right there the back and the other spine I am a big fan of Critters 2, the main course. I really, I really enjoy the original Critters as well. Critters 3 isn't bad. Critters 4 uh, in space, terrible. I hated Critters 4. Uh, and then they did another one a couple of years ago, which I didn't mind. I thought it was okay. After that, we've got The Wreck Collection. I've never seen any of these movies. There's the front spine right there. And then there's the back of it. So you get Wreck, Wreck 2, Wreck 3, Genesis, and Wreck 4, or just, yeah, Rec 4 Apocalypse, which I've, once again, never seen any of those. Have to check them out. After that, we've got this softer box of the It's Alive trilogy. Never seen any of these. You got It's Alive, it's, It Lives Again, and Island of the Alive. 
Never seen any of them. I've heard really bad things. Then after that, we've got the Amityville Horror Trilogy. So there is going to be the back of it. And then you're going to get Amityville Horror, the original one, Amityville 2, The Possession, and Amityville 3D. Amityville 3D. Yep, there's the back and everything like that. Those are those box sets. And then I got two more to show. All right, last two box sets. Let's go ahead and wrap this up with the original Halloween movies and then the Halloween remake, the Rob Zombie one, and Halloween 2 as well. Uh, so you get, I'll just go over all of them right there. You can see them, but you get Halloween, Halloween 2, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, Halloween 4, Halloween 5, Halloween The Curse of Michael Myers, Halloween H2O, Halloween Resurrection, then the remake of Halloween, the Rob Zombie one, and Halloween 2. These were before the newest trilogy. There is that one side of it. There's another side of it right there. There's that side. And there's that. And I went over all that. That's going to be the top of it. And then the bottom of it right there. I took off the little J card. Mine's got tiny scuff right there. I did buy this used. Um, and it still goes for a decent price, I believe. And then you get a booklet as well right there. So this was such a sought after release for a while. And I'm still happy to have it in my collection. And then last but certainly not least, we have got Friday the 13th box set. This was amazing when it first came out, especially I think this was one of the best releases maybe ever. People were so excited about it. You get all uh, 10 films, I believe. Um, it looks like, yeah, so you do get Freddy vs. Jason in here as well. So you get Friday the 13th, Friday the 13th Part 2. Friday the 13th Part 3, 3D, Friday the 13th, The Final Chapter, Friday the 13th Part 5, A New Beginning, Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives, which is probably my favorite, Friday the 13th Part 7, The New Blood, I like as well, Friday the 13th Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan, I'm actually a fan of it, it was the first one I had ever seen, I believe, uh, Jason Goes to Hell, The Final Friday, Jason X, Freddy vs. Jason, the remake of Friday the 13th, and Friday the 13th, the collection bonus material. So this is a great release. That's what one side of it's gonna look like. Right there, right there. There's your inside of it, bottom and top of it as well. So yeah, so just really cool, really cool box set here. And then you're also gonna get a booklet as well if I could take it out. There's your booklet right there. So cool stuff. Uh, Big fan of Scream Factory. I think they put out a lot of great stuff. Uh, you've got these amazing box sets that they do. Uh, you've got hard boxes, like slip boxes for the Halloween releases. I don't have that newest Halloween trilogy on 4K from, not trilogy, but six, uh, seven, and eight. So Curse of Michael Myers, H2O, and the, um, uh, Resurrection. I don't have those. Uh, but anyways, that is my entire Scream Factory collection. Next up, I'll probably go through shout select um i've got a lot of shout select titles just a fair warning when i get to shout select i haven't seen probably 80 percent of their releases i when i was collecting a lot of the shout select titles and i still do i am a completist i wanted all of their entire catalog uh their numbered spines and that was why i was trying to collect them and so i probably have not seen a lot of them so i'll be flying through shout select just a heads up but I hope you enjoyed today's video. I would love to hear what's in your Scream Factory collection. Are you a fan of Scream Factory? Are they your favorite boutique label? Let me know. Sound off in the comment section. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you would like to. And hit the bell notification if you want so you don't miss any future videos. And I'll see everyone on the next one. Have a good day.